Hey guys, we're back here with the Excel video series on tables or Excel tables. And today I'm going to show you, we've already set up our table. I showed you how to create a table. I showed you how to use the total row in a table. And then I also went through and showed you how you can create a dynamic data validation dropdown list using Excel tables with a little bit of help of the name range. Now that we have this set up, what we want to do is be able to use one of the beautiful things about uh, Excel tables is that you can actually use a what are called structured references to build your formulas. And what that allows is to also make your formulas dynamic and that anytime additional data is added to your table, uh, it's going to automatically update and ensure that your formulas are, are also updating. Because if you were to use just a specific range uh, in your formula, for example, in a VLOOKUP formula or in a SUMIF formula, it would always remain static uh, unless you would do something like this or if you were using of course uh, another function such as um, such as indirect index or any of those other offset formulas that would allow you to kind of uh, make sure that you're getting a dynamic data set now the best way to do it in my eyes and in my opinion is instead of using dynamic name ranges uh, is to use excel tables so now that I've kind of went through that, we're going to head over to the calculations tab. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create uh, and use structured referencing in Excel. So what we'll do is we're going to want to, let's just say, based off of our selection, we want to say how much has or how much spend has there been in that year. Uh, and this year, it's going to be actually in the entire column. Like if we were to look over here, and took a look at our 2014 expenditures we would see that ACOM is on here right now just based off my my looking at this and I'm gonna be able to use my drop down now to basically sum all of the situations or all of the lines and rows where we had uh, done work or contract work through ACOM or any of the other ones that are gonna be associated to our drop down so let's head over to the calculations tab and I'm gonna use the sum if formula so it's going to be a really quick and easy sum if formula. And if we type in equals sum if and the range, we're going to use our dynamic name range from Excel tables here. And it's simply going to be, uh, I have this called currently consultant names. We actually have consulting fees and that's the table that I'm looking at. And I can show you really quickly before I continue on if I select any piece of data within this table. Go to the design tab you'll see that consulting fees is the name of this table let's head back over here we're going to type in equals sum if so consulting fees i'm going to just select it i use that down arrow key there to select it and then i hit tab and that auto automatically update it you'll see now i can open up a square bracket and that's going to now allow me to use what's called the structured reference and then select a specific value from one of our tables and in this case the consulting fees table so this is saying sum if the range so we want to look at the consultants name range and we're going to close that square bracket that's going to be the range that we're looking at and then the criteria of course is going to be based off of the selection. So we're looking at the consulting names uh, within that range. And then if we head over to the dashboard and we select cell B2 for our sum if, now you'll see that it's not allowing me to select it. For some reason, sometimes if there's a data validation setup, it won't allow you to do that. So if I just select over to C2 and then I scroll over to the right, uh, or just hit the right, the left key, I should say, and to the left, and then I just hit FN, uh, I'm sorry, F4 on there that's going to automatically set that to an absolute value so that if i copy and paste this formula someplace else it's going to always refer to cell b2 and that's called an absolute reference then we're going to hit comma and then the sum range of course so again consulting fees is the same table off of that table we want to look at the 2014 expenditures and give us the summary and the sum of all of the records that we find based off of that criteria so I'm going to scroll down to 2014 expenditures just using my down arrow key. I'm going to hit tab and then I'm going to close the bracket. And we're now going to close that bracket and hit enter. So perfect. Now we see that the value is showing up in I4. And what I'm going to say here is this is total expenditures. 
expenditures by vendor or by consultant of course you could say that and I'm simply going to do set that up like this and then we'll use the currency just to update the actual value is showing as currency as well so for example I currently have now ACOM set up as the vendor selected if I were to scroll down now and I said Arts Build Ontario and then I go over to calculations you'll see that we spent 8500 with them now what I'm going to do is we're going to head over to dashboard and I'm going to simply just create a quick insert a quick shape here and what you can do of course is then type in equals and then we can select that cell All right, so now that we're that far, we've got this box um, or this square that we have referencing our shape that we have referencing the cell over here on our calculations tab. So now when we are to flip this and change the location, you can see or the actual uh, company or consultant's name that we're choosing here, you'll see that this updates and tells us exactly what was made uh, or what was spent with that consultant so if I change you can then change this color uh, I didn't want to change that I want to change the shape color so if you select the actual shape you can go in here you can select any color that you wish and then you can take off the borders if you go to the drawing tools and go to the formatting just change the shape outline no shape outline whatever you want and then you can also center this clean this up a little bit change the font increase the font whatever you want to do so now again as we change this you'll see that that number changes accordingly. So we've used our um, structured referencing over on our sum if statement, and that's kind of how you do this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. We'll see you next time.